Actually, this is CSS text. And uh, this is also the same thing. You can give color to the different text and also color to whatever color you want to give within div elements also. So you can put some colors. Here is the one most important is the text alignment. So here is the text align, text align last direction, unicode VD and vertical align. So what is the meaning of this text line center? This is also very useful tag. So suppose that I have uh, one H1 tag here. Here, I suppose that here I am using some H1. H1 and uh, hello India, I am typing, right? So this will display like this one. But I want to put this hello India in the center. How I can do? So I can, uh, if I am writing a class or whatever the class it's using, BG class it's using, this one. So I can write here text, text align center. Now see, looking much better? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Similarly, I can. Uh, put here this in this class text align center now coming good also okay the text is aligned to the center not the div text align center right so this is the one uh, of the use case of text align Similarly, left you can do, right you can align. Uh, suppose I'm typing here. Instead of center, I'm writing a right. So see what is happening. You see, it's a line to the right. And I have given this width uh, 50 percent. Now, if I remove this, see what is happening. Why uh, this was coming in a left? Anybody can tell me. I have given a text line to the center, this one, but this is not aligned to the center. Why? This hello world and this both are within this div, na? Main div. So. Yes, yes, whatever alignment i'm giving to the contain contents of this div should come in the left uh, center why it's not coming in the center why any hint so because text align right is given no i've given only with 50 percent actually sir i uh, already assigned uh, uh, text line center yes yes so uh, now if you see here uh, here I'm giving center now this is hundred percent and within that I'm putting a center right another scenario can be uh, instead of H1, I want to put here V tag. Right, and then
I'm putting some more content here and I want to show you something here I'm giving a justify so what is happening here can anyone tell me previously it was like if I'm not giving here anything it's look like this right yes sir but if I'm giving justify what is happening It's covering the full space. It's aligned to the left. The whole content is now left. You see, the last one. If I'm removing this, what is happening? You see, last line. Yes, sir. And some space is there. Some space is there. Hmm? Yes, sir. But once I'm putting justify, you see, covering full width. So it's left, right, yes, sir. both is spreading. So even if this is left justify, you can put here some padding, right? Padding, suppose that I'm giving a five pixel. Now looking better, right? So this is something justify left right you can do here uh, test align I am giving you something right you need to just practice these things you see what is happening here to the last line the last line text align last right yes yes sir text line right text line last the attributed text line last left center it's only affecting the last line right so this is one of this last 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 direction this is very important and uh, I'm just going to show you what is happening here if I'm putting this now let us see what is going to happen tell see what is happening here any guess reverse 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 like reverse. Are, like arabic right arabic uh, we read from like hello India hello directly from right to left right so yes if you're just putting uh, direction see what is happening there is no uh, significant change direction uh, if you're putting just direction but once you put this it's totally reversing 
So this is how Unicode uh, VIDI you can use while you are creating multi language website in Arabic. Then vertical alignment is there. So you see vertical line, baseline, vertical align, uh, top, and vertical align, C. So if I am putting any text here or putting some image, suppose that instead of this P tag, I am putting some image. Right now it's coming like this and uh, uh, suppose so you can align this image like uh, right now it's just somewhere you can see a space is here so it by default is coming top so you can align in center bottom by writing just uh, here if you just write IMG vertical align bottom right so you see it's coming into the bottom right image is coming into the bottom if this was not you see there is a space here right yes so that's yes, that's how you can uh, align elements vertically so baseline top bottom vertical line sub super so i already told you know hard what is the meaning of sub and super so if you want to align some images uh, to look like suppose that I have written this text right hello world and I want to make one image just like a superscript here I'll use this one super I want to put that image world and little lower I will use what sub, sub. right so here is like hello and here I am putting IMG and giving what is the vertical align vertical align so right it will be not visible here uh, because text is small image is larger the only thing is that it will come lit it's coming little here and if i making super you see super yes sir so yes sir. so if you want to make something like that that you put some text and uh, you want to make super script subscript a particular image you can do it this also second guys back and team is calling ah, hello Kizia. yes yeah, 
सो दे हैव अपडेटेड ना अकॉर्डिंगली वॉट आई हाँ हाँ ओके यस यस कि मी फाइव मिनट्स आई एम कमिंग बैक ओके Guys, give me two minutes. Yes, yes, it is working fine. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. So guys, your lab environment is already set up in virtual machine. Uh, shortly, they will provide you some credential to log in, right? And uh, you can use 
like I have this one, right? Are you able to see this? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. They, so they will give you some interface like this. So I have only told them to also install VS Code there. So VS Code you will get there and all files will be there, you can execute, run. Because from tomorrow we will learn PHP, right? So that is needed and uh, totally this is the protocol they wanted the files and everything should be on this server because some people may face some problem some people uh, not able to install what is the exact software you are looking for so this is the common environment they have created for all and you have your your own access right so shortly they will share with you so we don't have to download xam and all locally if you VC you want to work on a local system you can do but, uh, especially related to the session going on you can you should have to work on there save the files there because someone can see and check that what exactly you are doing right so follow some rules like create proper folders create, create proper file names and all those things this will help you so basically exercise is to give you some actual environment of working how the corporate works how the work with the virtual machine you are working so this will be good experience for you okay all right then come to our point so my screen is visible right yes sir now we are clear about this vertical alignment sub and super Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some decoration is also there. Uh, text decoration, if you want to put like de de text decoration line, decoration color, style, decoration thickness, decoration, uh, text decoration are there, like this one. Text decoration line over line. What it means? What it means? Anybody can tell me. putting this right so if you see you see text extension line this is what it's doing just this one. right yes sir. so this is something take over line over line maybe there is underline right yes sir there are various types of text text decorations are there and uh, line through line through is something like uh, you see line through Yes, sir. You can also put text, decoration, color, right? Suppose you put in red. See what is happening? So various types of te text decoration you can use while developing your websites. Underline. Overline, underline, both is there. Some color you can give. Same thing, right? Take the question underline red double. It will be double line. Text to decoration underline red double five pixel. It's a short end notation you are giving here. In one line, right? one line uh, this one what was this uh, underline red 
डबल फाइव पिक्सल इट्स रेडर लाइन रेड डबल फाइव पिक्सल राइट इट्स डबल लाइन यस सर सो यू कैन डू लाइक दिस वन वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डेकोरेट यूर टेक्स्ट then you can uh, this is simple text transformation what it does i'm writing it will for all p tags if that has class of upper case it will transform all uh, text to upper case all text to lower case all text to capitalized means so let me give you an example here here what is that text transformation right text transform i am writing upper case what will happen anybody can guess lower to upper case all upper case yes sir All upper case, lower case. You know what is lower case doing? Through CSS, you are controlling, right? Yes. And what capitalize will do? Uh, first character will be upper exactly, case. Exactly, exactly. First character of every of every word will be capital. Yes, sir. Great. this is uh, spacing like you give a uh, very text intent text letter spacing letter spacing minus 2 pixel can anyone tell me what is the meaning of this text indent what is the meaning of text indent if i am writing here what will happen text indent 50 pixel you see what is happening you see here it's a starting first line with the 50 pixel spacing right yes sir yeah. yes sir yeah this is the text indent then uh, what was the next letter spacing what is the meaning of letter spacing anybody no space between character matlab my uh, increase the space between characters yes letter spacing you see na h e l l o so with each yes. yeah with each letter you are giving 5 pixel sometimes you need such type of uh, spacing you want to make some demand you see here a 2 pixel is there this yes, and uh, what will happen if i give some minus here any guess what will happen maybe overlap yes you see what is happening overlapping yes great yes sir letter spacing done then line height who can tell me about line height height of the line height of the line line like spacing between two lines right yes sir uh, so, so not spacing exactly you were saying correct 
height of the line where that water character is existing right uh, so let me give here this line height point eight you see it's more clubbed if I'm giving line height to see what is happening yes sir if I'm giving line height 0.5, see what is happening. So clear about line height. Basically that is not a pixel. Right. See, this is the line yes. height. Yes, sir. Great, great. Another is uh, word spacing. Right now given three, now give, let me give it ten. No, no, what are the exact syntax I am writing correct or not? What is spacing? Yes, yes. What is spacing? If I'm writing 10 pixel, pixel. You see? Here, it's a spacing yes, between. Sir. A spacing between. Yes, sir. Words. Words. Then there is some text shadow you can also use in your uh, what is a text shadow if you are putting this text shadow so basically shadow is 2 pixel horizontal to pixel vertical and let us see how it's look like you see yes please. If you give just two pixel, it will, it will look like some vertical. Uh, so this is coming in uh, horizontal, and this is vertical. Because it's almost duplicating na, this shadow. Because I've given large yes. value. See. Shadow it's creating. This is vertical, this is horizontal. Now to the last topic uh, we are talking in now going to the CSS age. So you see different website are different types of fonts they use, right? Like uh, if yes, you, sir. Yes, like you see yeah. this website. It's this website is one font. If you see another website, this website is different font. This website is different font means the text you see a style of the text realizing client ambitions and this how this text is coming some like how this is uh, e a l i z i n g curved or how this is written similarly if you see here lorem ipsum r is like written like this right see here r here's r is like this and uh, Lauren Wipsum R is written like this or L. So the same character alphabets, if I'm applying different font style, its styling display styling is different. So according to some of, of our choice, we what is good look and feel can give one particular font style. So we have to choose the CSS fonts. Or these are the some generic CSS uh, font families, sans, 
serif fonts, sans serif fonts, mono space fonts, cursive fonts, fantasy fonts. So, so these five are the uh, generic font families. Now, what is within that? Suppose that there is a serif means what are the font names in serif? Times, New Roman, Georgia, Garamond. So why three names? Because some uh, browser can support this, some browser can support this, some browser can support this. Right? Then there is a, another font family sans serif. There are different fonts available in this family. Some may be Arial, Vardana, well, Helvetica. So these are examples. This is font names and this is the font family. Similarly, mono space, these are the font, different fonts. Courier, New, Lucida Console, Monaco. So you, you see here if I'm typing uh, body, then writing um, font family. You see lots of options I can see here. Courier, new, courier. This is the font family I'm giving, right? So within this font family, whatever is available in my browser, it will come. So see how it's affecting your display. You see little different it's coming now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let me, let me remove this shadow. See, styling is totally changed. The font family given by my courier, courier new and mono space. So my browser, I'm loading in Firefox. So whatever the suitable font in that family, my browser is loading, right? I can use like, uh, this is another font family, right? See how the text are coming now. You see? Yes, sir. We can have uh, another font family. Font family like this in a Times New Roman and Times series serif. So this is one family, Times New Roman, Times and serif, and within that whatever the available font will be available in the browser, that will be loaded. So why it's double quotes anybody can give me or single quotes because this is the name and with some spaces there that's why it's a enclosed to look like one name clear yes sir, yes, so, sir. so this is the font family yes. so whenever you're designing a website we have to choose a prop proper font family so that look and feel of your websites always matters See, there is this, this one is the Vardana, in Vardana it's come like this, right? And within that font family, there are some font, we have already used font family, so font family, font style, this, this is different but generally we use the font family. So, Vardana, like I've given you an example na, here. You, here you see sans serif, Arial Vardana Helvetica, right? And here in the written na, Vardana Geneva Tohoma sans serif. Sans serif is there. Within sans serif, this Vardana is there, right? And uh, this is there, this is there, Geneva, Tom. I have given that if any one of within this family, sans serif, either sans serif, if any sans serif font is available, font family available in my computer or my browser, my website should look like that in that family. Or either I am giving the name of the font, Vardana. So Vardana is available on my browser, so that's why it's displaying in the Vardana font, right? This one. 
if you inspect this, uh, this is already implemented, this Vardhana is coming. So you see, this is the styling of Vardhana. This is Geneva, this is Tahoma, sans serif, almost looks same, right? So Vardhana is in my laptop, that's why it's only loading the Vardhana. And it's of the sans serif font family. If some fonts of, uh, in a family is not available, on the server that font need to be installed and then there should be given some reference of that and then it will load. So this is something you should understand about font family. Like you see, written like this, no? So clear about font family? Yes, sir. Any question? No question? Okay. Then uh, the pages, profile page you created now. Uh, apply some uh, good font family and uh, letter spacing, word spacing, do some text decoration and show me how that is looking uh, some better. Right? So, apply some font family on that uh, profile page and show me in 5 to 10 minutes. Correct? Alright? Yes, sir. Okay, great.